This film is part of the overall training program for pilots flying TCAS equipped aircraft during the operational evaluation on Piedmont Airlines. The system concept, operation, and procedures to be used for the evaluation are described. The Federal Aviation Administration has sponsored the development of the Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System, TCAS, to reduce the risk of mid-air and near-mid-air collisions. TCAS detects potential collision threats and provides pilots with information to perform vertical maneuvers to resolve these threats. TCAS is an onboard system composed of a computer equipped with collision avoidance logic traffic advisory display, resolution advisory display, control panel, oral warning output, and a caution warning light. Measurement of intruder position. TCAS equipped aircraft periodically interrogate ATC transponder equipped aircraft in their vicinity. From the responses, range, range rate and bearing are computed for each aircraft once per second. Altitude and altitude rate are computed for altitude reporting aircraft. For non-altitude reporting aircraft, range, range rate and bearing are the only information acquired. Finally, the tracks for all aircraft are used to predict paths, anticipate insufficient separation and determine the need for advisories. Advisories issued by TCAS. TCAS provides two types of advisories. Advisories issued to aid visual acquisition are traffic advisories. Advisories issued to correct a flight path or to prevent a maneuver which could cause insufficient separation are resolution advisories. Advisories are generated based on the projected flight path of the two aircraft and their predicted separation at the closest point of approach, CPA. If the time to CPA is below a given value, a traffic or resolution advisory is issued. Traffic advisories. Traffic advisories identify potentially threatening traffic and help to support visual acquisition. Traffic advisories generated by TCAS can be correlated to ATC advisories to support the conventional means of resolution, see and avoid. Resolution advisories. Resolution advisories advise the pilot how to increase separation using vertical maneuvers. Traffic advisory display. Traffic advisories are displayed on the weather radar CRT. The chevron symbol two-thirds down the screen represents own aircraft heading up. The circle around own aircraft represents an area with a two nautical mile radius. TCAS tracked aircraft are displayed as triangles. A signed two digit number above the triangle represents altitude relative to own in hundreds of feet plus for aircraft above and minus for aircraft below. An up or down arrow following the number indicates the vertical direction of the aircraft climbing or descending with a vertical rate of at least 500 feet per minute. Question marks in lieu of the number means that the altitude of the traffic is unknown. Range and relative bearing can be determined from the position of the aircraft symbol on the CRT. Occasionally, a no bearing advisory may appear on the CRT, giving range and altitude of traffic whose bearing cannot be measured. Targets with range too large to be shown on the CRT are shown at the measured bearing at the edge of display as squares instead of triangles. The threat status of the targets can be determined by their color. Amber for potential threats, traffic advisory, red for aircraft that are causing a resolution advisory, blue for non-threat proximity. The display of potentially threatening aircraft is accompanied by a unique aural alarm, a C chord, and the lighting of the caution warning light in amber. The C chord will repeat every two seconds until the caution warning light is pressed 
or the threat aircraft is no longer a factor. Resolution advisories. Resolution advisories are displayed on the modified IVSI. An aural alarm sounds when the resolution advisory is introduced and again upon any change if the new advisory is more severe. The weather radar CRT is still used to present position information for intruders causing resolution advisories. The range, altitude, bearing, and vertical direction are given on the display as usual, except that the aircraft symbol and data block are shown in red. The aural alarm for resolution advisories consists of a European siren for two seconds, followed by a spoken version of the displayed resolution advisory on the IVSI. Climb. Climb. The caution warning indicator lights red. The aural alarm may be deactivated by pushing the caution warning light. Resolution advisories generated by TCAS are climb, descend, don't climb, don't descend, maintain present altitude, limit climb to 500, 1,000, 2,000 feet per minute, limit descent to 500, 1,000, 2,000 feet per minute. The TCAS control panel contains the function switch, mode selector, and power on and TCAS fail lights. The function switch has the following positions, off, standby, auto, and self-test. The mode selector has the following positions, weather, TCAS weather, and TCAS tracks. In the weather mode, all TCAS advisories are inhibited. The CRT will display only weather information. In the TCAS weather mode, the CRT will display weather information until TCAS detects a potential collision threat, at which time the CRT will automatically switch to display the position of the threat aircraft. Actuating the TCAS tracks position causes TCAS to display any aircraft within four nautical miles and plus or minus 1,200 feet of your aircraft for 15 seconds. Procedures. To conduct the TCAS pre-flight check, one, place weather radar in standby. Two, TCAS function switch in standby. Three, TCAS mode selector in TCAS weather. The system requires six seconds to warm up and initialize. Four, rotate the function switch to self-test and release. Observe the self-test sequence on the IVSI and TCAS pass message on the CRT. In the event that TCAS fails the self-test, the CRT will display fail, followed by a failure code. For normal operation of TCAS, 1. Place weather radar on or standby. 2. Place TCAS function switch in auto. 3. TCAS mode selector in TCAS weather. Flight procedures. 1. TCAS is used in visual meteorological conditions, VMC, only. 2. During instrument meteorological conditions, IMC, place the TCAS switch to the standby position. 3. Utilize normal see and avoid practices at all times during the evaluation. TCAS cannot detect non-transponder equipped aircraft and does not generate resolution advisories against non-altitude reporting aircraft. Four, execute maneuvers only if the airspace into which you will move has been visually cleared. Five, Bearing information is not of sufficient accuracy to support horizontal maneuvers. It is intended solely to aid in locating traffic visually. In the event of a traffic advisory, one, undertake a visual search for traffic. Two, with visual acquisition, respond using normal see and avoid procedures. Three, do not maneuver based solely upon the traffic advisory. Four, communicate with ATC if the traffic status is in question. In the event of a resolution advisory, 
One, clear your airspace. Two, execute the maneuver. Three, for vertical speed limit, don't climb and don't descend advisories, keep the IVSI needle out of the lighted areas. For climb and descend advisories, smoothly establish a 1,500 feet per minute rate in the indicated direction. If the current vertical rate is more than 1,500 feet per minute in the indicated direction, maintain that rate. Four, execute the maneuver until the advisory is canceled. Five, contact ATC as soon as possible. TCAS failures. TCAS continually conducts a system self-test when operating. If TCAS fails the self-test, a fail light is lit on the IVSI and control panel. If you observe a TCAS failure, record the TCAS failure code on the CRT in the aircraft log and place the TCAS function switch in the off position for the duration of the flight. Notify the test conductor. TCAS abort. Some threat aircraft may make maneuvers after a resolution advisory is posted, causing the displayed advisory to be incorrect. If you receive a TCAS abort indication, both the up and down arrows on the IVSI will flash, the European siren sound, and a voice announcement TCAS abort is given. TCAS abort. TCAS abort. In the event of TCAS abort, use all available information, such as traffic advisory information from TCAS and ATC, and visual acquisition to resolve the situation. TCAS limitations. TCAS has several limitations you must be aware of. One. TCAS does not track aircraft without an operating transponder. Aircraft without operating transponders are invisible to TCAS and cannot cause an advisory to be generated. Two, TCAS does not generate resolution advisories for aircraft which do not report altitude because vertical maneuvers cannot be planned for aircraft whose altitude is unknown. Three, because TCAS advisories are based on transponder reported altitude, you must remain alert to the possibility of faulty altitude information and continue to use C and avoid procedures to supplement TCAS advisories. Conclusions. If at any time during this evaluation you are not satisfied with the performance of the TCAS system, place the TCAS function switch in the standby position and contact the test conductor. We are depending upon you, the final users of the system, to provide valuable information to establish TCAS parameters and procedures. If the TCAS generates an advisory during flight, you'll be asked to complete a short questionnaire on the value of the advisory and operational impact. Your cooperation in completing the questionnaire is requested. In addition, any other comments or suggestions regarding TCAS operation would be welcome.